So out at MWC 2019, HMD Global has just launched the wallet-friendly Nokia 3.2 and Nokia 4.2 smartphones. Most of the headlines might have been grabbed by that pent lens Nokia 9 PureView camera, but the Nokia 3.2 and 4.2 are well worth paying attention to as they offer a slick Android One experience starting from just 139 US dollars. I've been hands-on with both smartphones and here's what I reckon so far. And don't forget for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So design-wise, these are pretty simple, straightforward polycarbonate handsets. That shiny surface may not offer much in the way of grip, but it definitely seems pretty hardy from my hands-on session. Plus, I do still love that trademark smooth edging from Nokia, which feels great in the hand. Ah, happy flashbacks to the Lumia days. These phones can be staffled in black and also come in lighter colours as well, including this rather fetching pink sand option. You get a dedicated Google Assistant button stuck on the side to avoid all that hey Google nonsense. And yes, there is a 3.5mm jack on both models as well. And you also get a fingerprint sensor on the back of the 3.2 and the 4.2, so you can quickly unlock these blowers in a pinch. This has also been bolstered by a spot of biometric face and lock action as well, in case you're wearing gloves or your hands are a bit sweaty or something. Definitely a good feature to see at this price point. As for the OS, well, both the Nokia 3.2 and the Nokia 4.2 boast an Android One setup with the latest Pi updates on board. So not only are they bang up to date, but also you are guaranteed OS and security updates for the next couple of years to keep your handset nice and fresh. But what about the performance? Well, the Nokia 4.2 packs in a Qualcomm Snapdragon 439 platform, while the Nokia 3.2 downscales this to a Snapdragon 429. The 429 may offer less grunt, but it is quite energy efficient as well. Nokia quotes two days of mixed battery use. Certainly the performance seems nice and smooth and reliable in our hands-on session, with both the 4.2 and the more basic 3.2 as well. Apps load after just a second or two, and I certainly didn't see any ugly stutters as I flipped through the UI, helped along no doubt by that clean stock version of Android. What about the screen tech? Well, the Nokia 3.2 packs in a rather mighty 6.26 inch IPS display, while the Nokia 4.2 is actually smaller with a 5.71 inch screen instead. Both of these panels can pack in an HD plus resolution, kind of what you expect at this price point, so the visuals are reasonably sharp. And that stretched 18 by 9 aspect ratio suits a nice bit of Netflix action if you want to stream some telly on your commute. And if you prefer to download your shows, you get a choice of 16 gigs or 32 gigs of storage. If you do download Netflix stuff, we recommend going for that 32 gigs or you'll probably run out of space pretty damn pronto. And yes, both handsets do have a dew drop notch up top, but it is actually impressively dinky so it doesn't intrude too much on the screen. Now this pair of wallet friendly smartphones both serve up a 13 megapixel rear camera with HDR mode as well as full manual controls and that includes a nice bit of support for raw photo capture. To that primary lens the Nokia 4.2 also adds a 5 megapixel depth sensor so you do have a bit of bokeh mode action for a funky blurred background effect. The Nokia 3.2 does away with that secondary sensor to cut costs, so you do not get a bucket mode on that bad boy. However, you can shoot up to full HD resolution on either device, while they also offer up a simple selfie snapper, again with those full Pro controls. So the Nokia 3.2 is due out at the end of April, starting from $139 US dollars for that 16 gig model, about $30 more if you want the 32 gigs. The Nokia 4.2 should hopefully be coming out a few weeks earlier, and that will be starting at $169. So that is the Nokia 3.2 and Nokia 4.2 in a nutshell and how they stack up against one another. Are you tempted by them? If you're looking for a budget smartphone, certainly that nice clean stock Android UI experience is definitely tempting. And for more on the latest greatest mobile tech and especially lots of great stuff from MWC 2019, don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers everyone, love you.